Hey, it's Derek McLean, and I wanted to share with you my thoughts and my review on Finding God in the Ruins by Matt Bays. And I have to say, this is one of the most powerful books that I have read in a long time. It's the story of Matt kind of growing up and his childhood, as he puts it, being raised by wolves. And he shares his story of everything from dealing with abuse to the loss of his brother at a young age to facing an addiction himself all the way to what his sister's going through now battling cancer and each of these big challenges areas in his life um, he shares his thoughts in a way that is just so transparent in how he deals with those things when it comes to finding God. So oftentimes in these situations where we're, we're down, we're out, we're turning to God for help, um, he kind of brings up a great point that it's okay to be frustrated with God. It's okay to be mad at God. And oftentimes we get caught in these cycles of going to church and pretending like everything's great. And he talks about that in the book. And, and really, we don't even feel like we can turn to the people at our church for help because we feel like we have to maintain this kind of perfect image. And I love the honesty when he talks about how frustrated he got with God at times. Um, very, very powerful words. Um, throughout this story... There were so many times where I just kind of had to pause, really think about what I just read, almost like, wow, did that that really happen to him? And, you know, and he, he keeps going, he keeps trying to do uh, the right thing, and the, these things just keep happening. Um, some other things that I wanted to share is he brings up a great point, and, and I've seen this in my own life, is that, that God often shows up in the most unexpected way. But oftentimes that's actually the way that we need him the most, you know. So when we're dealing with the situation, we're kind of focused on that, you know, God step in, God work this miracle, God make everything okay. Um, but really it's it's this other area of our life or it's later down the road when, when we actually kind of see God step in. And then we kind of realize the big picture and how it was meant to be and that we were never in control to begin with, and he always is. Uh, so I think that that was a huge thing. The other big, big takeaway that I had is oftentimes when we're going through loss or um, some huge, horrible thing in our life, we want to blame God. We want to be mad at God, you know. And and he kind of brought up a good point, and that is that the God is going through this with you. You need to turn to God. And even though sometimes you want to point the finger at him, and yes, that's okay to do at times, you need to kind of think of it as, hey, he's right there with you. You need to turn to him. You need to ask for advice. He is not actually doing this to you. He's having this be done to him as well. Um, so that point right there, oh my goodness, that that really hit home with me and uh, was one of the most most powerful, memorable things in the book. And... To kind of wrap it up, when it's all said and done, and, and you get this whole story of Matt facing these struggles, going through them, finding God in the ruins, uh, it kind of comes to this point where he's he's sitting there uh, with his wife, and his wife asks him, you know, if, if you could change all this, if you could have this, this great kind of picture, perfect childhood life with the perfect family, all that, would you? Would you take back all these life experiences and trade it in for just kind of smooth sailing. And, you know, Matt says, thinks about it, and, and really he wouldn't. Because each of these moments in his life, as terrible as they might have been at the time, and as frustrated as he might have been with God at the time, it brought about something else and helped him become a better person and really learn from it and really find God in new ways that he never even knew was possible. So I would highly recommend this book, Finding God in the Ruins 
available on Amazon and also in several other uh, big bookstores. And I want to say congratulations to Matt. You know, this is his first release book, published book, and I think it's phenomenal. As I said, you know, powerful is kind of the theme that I shared throughout this review. So powerful, so powerful. And he's he's a very talented writer. And as I told him um, when I reached out to him after I read the book, it had to just be such kind of therapy to get all of these feelings out, all of this on paper, so to speak. Um, and now he's sharing it with the world and he's helping so many people uh, be able to relate to his journey and be able to know how to turn to God and find God in the ruins. So definitely recommend you check it out and hope you enjoyed my review.